Nisambul again, children. Uh, thank you very much for listening in. Uh, today, this is an uh, English translation of my uh, April 23rd episode. So, this was my second class. And the topic that uh, we were learning uh, on that day was the different greetings in Fiji. Different provinces have different way of saying hello. Uh, we also um, discussed the different colors. Um, so you can be aware of how to say these colors in the Fijian language. And then we also looked at the coconut again, but this time we're looking at the indigenous way of counting and also Fijian idioms or proverb. So here we are with our map of Fiji. So I really want us to be looking at the map every week so you can be familiar with the different uh, islands so that you can be able to know the names of the islands and where they are located. So geography is key uh, to learning and appreciating your own heritage. So the three topics we'll be talking about today is the uh, first one, Nambandua, is your vakambula or your greeting. Um, so you, it's very important that you should know the greeting from where you're from. So I just want to say that there's some places where there is, it's not in my list. That doesn't mean that they're not special, but it does just mean that they the same bula as their greeting, or bula maleka, or in different variations of the greetings that we have uh, been learning. Our color for today is seni nawa nawa. Can you repeat after me? Seni nawa nawa. Seni nawa nawa. So we're going to learn about that color. And the third one is looking at the purposes and the uses of coconuts, but this time we're going to be learning the uh, Fijian counting and a Fijian idiom or proverb using the coconut. So let's go to the first part. So let's look at the different greetings from different parts of Fiji. So as a revision, these are the 14 provinces of Fiji plus Rotuma. So make sure you learn all of them and know where they are. So look at the map and look at the list of these places. So these are the provinces or Yasana. So can you say Yasana? Yasana. Yasana. So now let's look at some of the greetings from some of the Yasana that we've just seen in that list. So I want you to repeat after me. Dola Vina. Dola Vina. The second one, Bulanakwa, Bulanakwa. Third one, Bulamaleka, Bulamaleka. Number four, Ara Nayandra, Ara Nayandra. So you can see that these are the different greetings from uh, these different places. So for number one, it's for the provinces of Mba, Nandronga, and Serua. The second one is for the province of Namosi. The third one, province of Neta Siri, and the fourth one for the province of Ra. So, on this page, these are the greetings for um, the provinces on the island of Vanualevu. So, we'll start from number five Bulabina'a. Bulabina'a. Number six Bulare. Bulare. Number seven. Bulasia, Bulasia. So these are the three uh, provinces on the island of Onuolevo. Sometimes they call them CBM. CBM is in short for the Kaunrobe, Bua, and Maduata. Yeah, the Kaunrobe, Bua, and Maduata. So remember, children, these are the three Yasana provinces on the island of Onuolevo. And then we go to number eight. This is Malo Ambula. Malo Ambula. This is for the province of Lao. And number nine, Noaia. Noaia. This is for the island of Rotuma. And then I included the island where I'm from. I'm from Kandavu. And even though our greeting is not in the list, but I just thought I'd mention that this is an example of a place in Fiji that doesn't have a separated greeting, but it's just similar, but a different variation of how you actually pronounce it. So in my dialect, it'll be like this. 
Bula binaha. Bula binaha. So the K is H. So for linguists like Paul Garrity, they use the letter X to be in place of the letter K. So it's Bula binaha. Mutum bula binaha. Mum bula binaha. So that's a variation of how many people you are greeting. Isn't that amazing? That in different parts of Fiji, we have different ways of greeting each other. So if you're from any of these places that we've just listed, make sure you use that greeting from now on. So now we're gonna go into the colors, which is the second part of our discussion today. So we learned about the damundamu, damundamu, or nranra, nranra last week. Yeah, for our last class rather. So today we're gonna look at some of the other colors, but remember, children, that our ancestors in Fiji, they used their natural environment to determine the origin of this color. So these are some of the pictures that I want you to look at. So the first one is a picture of the flower of the kavika plant, the kavika tree. So this is where the pink color comes from. Seni kavika. Can you say it after me? Seni kavika. That's the color, the name for the color pink. Okay, so we try to avoid using the, the word pingy or wingy because it still originates from the English word pink. The original Fijian word for pink is seni kavika. Seni kavika. So if you look at the second picture, it's got the name nawa nawa. Say it, nawa nawa. Nawa nawa. So that's the color for orange. So if you look at that the flower, it's the flower of the nawa nawa tree. So it resembles the orange color. So it's important for you children to start using this word for the color orange. So avoid saying orange as a color because that's not the Fijian word, okay? So the Fijian word is, I'm gonna say it and I want you to repeat after me. Seni nawa nawa. Seni nawa nawa. So that's the color for orange. So now you know these are the two colors for pink, which is, what is the pink in Fijian? Can you say it? Seni nawa nawa. Seni nawa nawa, okay? Uh, sorry, seni kavika. And seni nawa nawa is orange. And then you see the picture of the egg yolk? That is the origin of the color yellow. So the color yellow is Nromon Romo. Nromon Romo. And the original name for that color is this, the yolk of the egg. So you can see the color yellow there. So that's where the word Nromon Romo comes from. Isn't that amazing? Did you know about that? I didn't, but now we all learn together. And then at the bottom, you'll see the picture of the moon. And this is where the color white comes from. So the Fijian word for moon is Wula. Repeat after me. Wula. Wula. So that is where the origin of the color white comes from, which is Wula Wula. Wula Wula. So there you go, children. It's a good reminder and a good opportunity for us to learn the different colors and where they originally come from. So this was the picture that I showed you in our last class. So try and learn more of these colors, but I want you to point your attention to the fish that is there. That is a fish that uh, the word red, damundamu, comes from. So the word damundamu comes from the fish ndamu, and that is right there. Can you see? Can you also notice the color? Okay, so that's where the original word for red comes from, from the fish that is called ndamu, and the Fijian word for red is Damundamu, Damundamu. So make sure children, make sure you write all these uh, words down and you repeat to pronounce them at home. So these are some of the pictures of the Seni Nawa Nawa plant. Okay, so the, the Nawa Nawa tree has got the flower, which is this, and that is where the orange color originate from. And on the right hand side, when the flower turns into the fruit, into a fruit, that's what it becomes, the kavika. So how many of you have eaten the kavika before? 
Yeah, it's really juicy and yummy uh, when they're in season. So that's what the kavika looks like. But before it turns into a fruit, it becomes a flower. And that is where the color pink comes from. So now this is our last part of our Talanoa today, children. We're going to look into the uh, purposes and uses of coconut. But we're going to look at the idioms and the counting. Okay? And the counting. So we're going to look at the idioms and the counting. So there you go. The idiom here is Lutuna niu, lutu kivuna. Lutuna niu, lutu kivuna. And this is an English translation here, which is the apple does not fall far from the tree. So because we don't have apples in Fiji, we have coconuts. So that's basic idiom that everyone knows that when the coconut falls, it falls down onto the base of the tree. So that basically uh, says that whatever the children um, show, that means that that reflects the teachings of the parents from home. The second one is looking at the indigenous counting children. So in the past, we used to count in tens. So things are counted in tens and hundreds and thousands. So here we have one which is Tini na niu sandua na ingali. Tini na niu sandua na ingali. So I want you children to find out more about how the ancient Fijians actually count back in the day. So it makes us appreciate about how they sell coconuts in the market. So if you're in Fiji or if you're going to visit Fiji in the future, when you see the coconuts uh, being sold in the market, they're usually sold in tens. Okay, so that's a good lesson for us that now we're learning from the coconut tree itself. So for your homework, uh, children, I want you to uh, find out the following four topics. So the first one is Tikina. The second one is Yavusa. The third is Matangali. And the fourth is Itokatoka. So Tikina is your district. Second is your tribe. Matangali is your clan. And the fourth one, Itokatoka, is your family unit. So make sure you contact your, uh, talk to your mom and dad. And also you can talk to your cousins and your family members to help you work on this homework of yours. Okay, so in, if you have any other questions, make sure to get in touch with me. And thank you so much for your time. And continue to listen to uh, my YouTube uh, videos. And I will be posting many more in the coming days. I look forward to see you. And don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel and invite your friends to do the same. Thanking my family for helping me uh, put this video together. Thanks to Leo Vunindilo who is editing the video. Uh, Merawa Rita Vunindilo for uh, being the social media queen. And uh, Kali Vunindilo for being the cultural advisor for the content of this class. And uh, a big Vinaka Vakalevu from me, your teacher. And thank you so much for spending time with Dr. T. And I look forward to seeing you in our next class. Vinaka Vakalevu. Mother Manda.